In this video, I'll show you how to embed a fast and responsive TikTok widget like this on your WordPress website to boost site engagement and grow your TikTok followers at the same time. This is by using the Smash Balloon TikTok Feed Pro plugin. It allows us to embed our TikTok videos in a beautiful feed like this with no coding skills needed. To purchase the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download TikTok Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now inside your dashboard on the left hand side, hover over plugins and click on add new plugin. Next, click upload plugin and upload the zip file for TikTok Feed Pro and click install now. Once installed, click activate plugin. And there we go, TikTok Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. To get started with our TikTok widget, on the left hand side you'll now notice TikTok feeds. Go ahead and click on that. And this will take you inside the plugin where you'll first have to activate your license key. Paste the license key from your Smash Balloon account and click activate. Now our license key has been activated and we can begin creating our TikTok widget. To get started, click add new. Then for our first step, we'll have to add a source for our TikTok feed. Click add source, click connect with TikTok. This will take you into TikTok and if you're already logged in, it will show you which account you're logged into here. If this is the account you want to embed inside your feed, you can click on authorize at the bottom. Otherwise, if you want to switch accounts, you can click on switch account here and log into the account you want to display inside your feed. I'm going to go click on authorize. And lastly, you have a prompt here asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Click yes, it's my domain. Inside the plugin, you should now see your TikTok account added as a source. We can select it like this and click next. And for our last step of creating our TikTok widget, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. We have options like the default, cards, list, latest video, carousel, and showcase carousel. For this tutorial, I'm going to keep my TikTok widget in the default template. That's already selected for us here, so we can go click on next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our new TikTok widget. This feed is currently featuring all the latest TikTok videos from the account we added as a source. It's now ready to be embedded on your WordPress web page, but before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go into Layout. Inside, you'll find several options to modify the layout of your TikTok widget. At the top, you can see that we currently have the grid layout selected, which displays your TikTok videos in rows and columns. Next, we have the list layout, and this one displays your TikTok videos in a single column list. Third is the masonry layout, which displays your TikTok videos in rows and columns once again, but with the captions and the original sizes. Lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows you to swipe through the videos inside your TikTok feed like this. But for this tutorial, I'm going to keep it on the grid layout, and if you look below, you can also choose how many posts you want to display on your feed on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, we're displaying 10 posts inside our TikTok feed, but if you want to change that, all you have to do is enter the number of videos you want to display. For example, if I wanted to only display 5 videos, I could change it to 5, and you can see instantly inside a live preview that our feed is now only displaying 5 videos. I'm going to change that to 6, and right away, our feed is now showing 6 videos instead. Underneath that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display inside your TikTok feed. Currently, we're only displaying 3 columns, but once again, to change it, it's super easy. Just enter the number of columns you want to display, for example, 5, and your feed will instantly show 5 columns. I'll change that back to 3, and once you're happy with the layout of your TikTok feed, click save on the top right corner. Next, at the top of your feed, you'll notice that we have a header. This area is fully customizable too. Under the Customize tab once again, click on Header. In this menu, you can see all the different elements inside the header, including the profile picture, name, username, and more. Each of these elements can be fully customized and hidden if you'd like to. If you want to hide any of these elements, all you have to do is deselect it on the left-hand side. And straight away, you can see that our profile picture has now disappeared inside the header. You can do the same thing with the name, username, and all the other elements as well. I'm going to bring those back, and to do that, just reselect the element once again, like this. And if you wanted to disable the header entirely, just go ahead and toggle it off here at the top. And you can see now that there's no header inside our feed. For this demonstration, I'm going to bring it back, and if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to moderate the content inside your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters. Here, you can add words as filters so that your feed will only show or hide videos containing those words. And if you go back into settings and click on sort, you can sort your TikTok videos based on recency, oldest first, most views, and most likes. And underneath that, you can also choose to randomize the videos inside your TikTok feed, allowing you to show fresh content to your site visitors each time they visit your page. And if you made any changes inside the filters or sort menus, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your TikTok feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress webpage. To do that, click on Embed on the top right corner, copy a dedicated shortcode, then click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, and click Add. We are here on our WordPress webpage, and to embed our TikTok feed, we'll first have to add a shortcode block, and paste the shortcode that we just copied earlier, like this. Once that's done, just click on Update, and let's check out what it looks like on the live webpage. Here we are now on our live WordPress webpage, and right in the middle we have our brand new TikTok widget. It's currently featuring all the latest videos from our TikTok account in the template that we selected. At the top of the feed, we have the header, which features the profile picture, profile name, username, the bio, number of accounts we're following, number of followers we have, and the number of likes as well. And on the right-hand side, we have a follow on TikTok button. If site visitors click on that, that will take them directly to your TikTok page, allowing them to easily follow you directly from your website. 
All the videos inside your feed feature a video thumbnail, the number of views, likes, and a caption preview as well. And if you scroll down to the bottom of your feed, you also have a button that says load more. If we click on it, it will load even more videos directly on your widget right inside your WordPress web page. And that's how we create and embed a beautiful TikTok widget like this on your WordPress web page. But if you want to learn how to embed it to the sidebar or footer of your website, let me show you how. Here we are back inside the plugin, and this is the second TikTok widget I've created for the footer of our website. To embed this inside the footer, click on embed on the top right corner, copy a dedicated shortcode, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click add to a widget. This takes us into the WordPress widgets menu, and to embed our TikTok widget, we just have to add a shortcode block, and paste the shortcode we copied earlier once again. And that's all done, we can click on update, and check out what it looks like on the live website. Here we are back on our live WordPress web page, and right in the middle we had that first TikTok widget we created in the default template, and if I scroll down to the footer, we have a second TikTok feed embedded inside the footer. And this one is just as fast and responsive as the first one, and it's in a carousel layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through the videos inside your widget like this. So you now know how to create an embedded TikTok widget both inside the footer and on your WordPress webpage as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.